We are Andrew and Leanne, and in 2021, we packed our bags, sold our car, and bought a one-way ticket to travel the world. After having an incredible safari in Udawalawe National Park, we jumped the minivan north to the city of Ella. Hi guys! Hello. So we got kind of shunted into this minivan, but we've met some more people from Europe, so we feel safe. Uh -huh. And My who? name is Nipuna. Nipuna. So anybody want to go for a what, safari? Safari. And also see some elephant and yeah, some stuff, yep. and you have to visit me. Visit so I'm man. from Udawalawa. So if you are in Udawalawa, you need to hit up this guy. We'll try and leave some links in the description so you can find him. And he also has a minivan, so the prices it. are not too bad. And also the jeep. And the jeep. He's got a safari jeep, so you can go and see elephants in Udawalawa. Bye-bye. <laughs> We've also, would you believe, we have met some people from our hometown. Little old Martin. These guys here? Hello. So not far from us at all. We <laughs> cannot believe it in the middle of Sri Lanka. <laughs> Who would have thought? So this is our other friend. Hello, I am Amy. I'm from Germany. And what part of Germany? Uh, I'm from uh, near Munich. And yes. But if you, if you ever visit Germany, go to Berlin. It's, it's the best city. from Ella. We've arrived as you can see and this is our breakfast spot here with the best view ever. Overlooking all the tea plantations, the trees, people. We get a lovely breakfast here as well and the hosts obviously in true Sri Lankan style are beautiful. So the little singing truck went by and got him before he drove off and he saw this really nice looking crocodile bread. I'm addicted to it. As you probably know from the Instagram stories, I, I, I would eat it every day if I could. And then he tempted me to buy this one as well, which looks kind of like a pasty, like a Cornish pasty. We said it's got jam inside. So I'm really excited about this. I'm actually gonna try the jam one now. So you can see the jam inside. Sugar, sugar, more sugar. It's delicious, it's super soft. It tastes freshly baked. Jam's really sweet. Perfect. So our host, the lady who's running the house share, gave us some of this kittel honey. And it's supposed to be served with the buffalo curd that we had in the last video. So next time we're offered this with buffalo curd, we're gonna give it a try. It tastes absolutely delicious. It's like a palm sugar honey and we had it on pancakes and the taste is just outstanding. So today we are kind of going against our original plans. We are walking up to Little Adams Peak and then from Little Adams Peak we are going to head over to the Nine Arch Bridge. We were supposed to set off and try and do this for sunrise but our alarm came and, and went. went at 4am <laughs> and uh, yeah we, we were just not ready to get up at four o'clock so we put it off, had a nice breakfast and uh, now we're setting off. Now we're in the tea plantation. And look where we are. This place is so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Cameron Highlands in Malaysia. There was a place called the Bow Tea Plantation, very similar to this. Absolutely stunning. So an interesting little fact, we actually walked through this tea plantation the other night in the dark, just after it had rained. Got back to our, uh, to our room and I found a nice juicy leech on my leg. Um, if you follow us over on Instagram, you can see that we actually upload daily stories there every single day and we uploaded that to our Instagram. I'll try and put a little snippet of it here now. What is that? It's a leech. Oh, come on, let's take it off. Flick on, Flick the leech. Flick on. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Eee. Here he is, look at him. He's looking for blood. But yeah, that was kind of gross. <laughs> I love that bread man. I love that bread van. It's amazing. 
you always know it's coming because you can hear the music and they sell the nicest bread. Also, Andrew's found a game. He thinks it's checkers. We're not sure. I don't actually think it is checkers, but we're going to play checkers. I don't know how to play checkers. But the interesting thing is, all the little checkers are made out of bottle tops. It's definitely not checkers. There's way too many, uh, way too many squares. But look, that's a cola. So after a quick pit stop and a game of checkers, my first ever game of checkers, I won! Woo! <laughs> Andrew, she did really good. Andrew's really upset. I'm not upset. He's upset. To be fair, I am terrible at checkers, so. He hates losing at things. I do, but I don't mind. <laughs> so we've just started the trek to Little Adam's Peak. The sun is out. It's really warm. There are a lot of people at the start. Let's see what it's like. Well, so far, this walk is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be kind of like a, um, just like a mud path all the way up, but it's not, it's actually a paved road. It has been from the start, and I think it is all the way up to the top as well. There's literally tuk-tuks taking people up there, so if you want to go up to Little Adam's Peak and uh, you can't walk it, then I think you can get a tuk-tuk up to the top. Not 100% sure it goes right the way up. I will let you know when we get there. But yeah, it looks like you can look. Update, I was, uh, I was wrong. The road doesn't continue right the way up to the top. The tuk-tuks don't take you all the way up to the top. They take you up to the zip line. There is a zip line station that you can basically, you know, zip line down. Um, and then after that, it is a mud path that you have to walk. Bringing back memories of that temple in Thailand. Let's just uh, stop for a moment and appreciate these views. Just look at this place. <sighs> so we're not actually sure which one is Little Adam's Peak. We walk to the top and then there's actually another couple of peaks so we're just going to walk them all and hope that one of them is Little Adam's Peak. So behind us is Little Adam's Peak but as you can see it's quite a popular spot so there's like quite a lot of people there so we're just going to sit here, rehydrate and then make our way back down before the rain comes. Oh there's a dog! Hello! Hi Doggy Chan! Do you want some water? Oh, she's so thirsty. Thank you. We've just felt rain, so we're gonna have to throw all the cameras back into the camera bag, throw the rain jacket on, um, throw our rain jackets on, and then head off to location number two. So I don't know if you can see, but there's an awful lot of people here waiting for this train. Um, Oh, there's another mini. Another drone. I've seen about three drones so far. It's supposed to come in about 15 minutes, but we heard from somebody that it could be an hour late. But at least it's not boiling hot. Everybody's taking pictures with the drones. But this is really beautiful. Look, you can literally stand the rails just there. You're not too far from the track. Far enough that you won't get run over by the train though. And there's a couple of like little coconut shops here where you can buy like ice cream and coconuts and drinks and things. Everybody's just chilling out.
Well, there we go. How was that? <laughs> there must have been about 50 people hanging out the doors trying to get photos. There's got to be about 200 people just standing here and waiting for the train to come. Andrew's got the drone in the sky. It's time to go. We weren't planning on vlogging lunch, but um, this tastes amazing. It's huge. We couldn't resist vlogging this. I mean, it's the biggest thing I think I've had on a plate. How am I gonna eat all of that masala dosa? <laughs> I'll give it a good go. This plant here is called Mimosa. And it's really interesting because watch what happens when Leanne touches it. So there's a couple of reasons it does this. The first reason it does it is if it rains, it helps prevent the leaves and branches from being snapped because they close up and they don't hold as much water. The second reason is when an animal brushes past it, all the foliage closes and it looks like there isn't much for it to eat. So it deters animals from wanting to eat it. I just like doing this. Good morning from our little homestay. We are heading off out today. Don't have many plans to be honest. It's a lot of nature in Ella, but um, we had some work to catch up on, so we haven't really been out much. But today we're going to a pretty famous little tea shop. You may have seen it on YouTube before, so we'll catch you there. I know Leanne's already mentioned it a couple of times in this video, but I'll never get tired of these views. I'll miss them when we move on. I'm also amazed at how quickly you get used to things whilst you're traveling. Like, if we had heard, for example, the sound of a peacock back in the UK, that is a big deal, and we would be questioning what it is for hours, and we'd be like so amazed. But, but here, we hear them that often that they just become part of the background sound, and it's, it's, it's not a big deal when we hear them. And I just find it really interesting at how quickly you adapt to your environment and, and what becomes, well, the new normal. Honestly, when you need a tuk-tuk, there's never any tuk-tuks. And when you don't need a tuk-tuk, every one of them is beeping at you. I find it difficult to jump a tuk-tuk today. Oh, here's a tuk-tuk. Here's a tuk-tuk. Let's it's fingers cool. crossed, see if there's people in it. Are there people in it? There's people in it. There's people in it. <laughs> we'll wait for the next one. Maybe we'll get lucky with this one. Are there people in it? Other people in it? Hello! We got lucky. Can we go? How much? Uh, 700. Yeah? 700? Okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay to film? Yeah. Here's our friend. We got in a tuk tuk. Stutima chan. Stutima chan. And we've arrived, thanks to our tuk-tuk driver. <laughs> uh, take 800. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. Have a good day. Bye. So where are we? Oh my god, is it closed? It's closed. Don't tell me it's closed. Where are we, Mosh? Well, we got to the tea centre. Our tuk-tuk driver's just left. And it's closed. Oh. Tea Centre, what are you playing at? It says it's open on Google, doesn't it? So, 
A couple of people came up from further down in the mountain and apparently it's closed today. Unfortunately, we leave Ella tomorrow, so we won't get to, to try it. However, he did say there was another place we can grab tea further up the road. A hotel or something? So, so we'll go and try there. So we were actually trying to head to the tea center that Harold Balder had previously um, shown in his video, but it was closed. So we came further up the road and we've actually come to this little, um, they call it a hotel, but it's a restaurant. It turns out this has actually been shown already in one of David's yeah, videos as well. I think it's only a small town, so we're likely to uh, bump into places that other people have already been. So I've gone for the rice and curry. I absolutely love Sri Lankan rice and curry. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite foods here. It reminds me very much of banana leaf curry in Malaysia, where you just kind of have all kinds piled on a plate and you eat it all with your hands. Really, really cool experience, really tasty food. But we've also come for a nice cup of tea because we're British and, you know, tea is what we do. Uh, and this is where they make the tea. It's kind of like a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a, like a milky sweet tea. So as we said previously as well, the way to eat this is with one hand, always your right, never your left hand. You just kind of take what you want, put it on the corner, mush it into, into like a ball, and then use your thumb to flip it into your mouth. So that's like, that's like, really good, really good. Made new friends. Mm. So, so good. Mm. So. These nice people here are going to take us to the bungalows so we can have a little look. What's your name, sorry? Tilan. Tilan. Yes. And your name? Tilak. Tilak. Oh, very similar. <laughs> Maybe twins? <laughs> oh, what are they cooking here? That looks so nice. Whoa. Wow. It smells so good. <laughs> you want some samosa? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, if it's ready, is it ready? So that's fine, yeah. <laughs> okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Wow, look at them. Wow. No, 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 no. Wow. It smells so good. <laughs> nice. So fresh. <laughs> Sri Lankan people, they love samosa. Mm, short eats. Short eats. Uh, but it's now it's called in the patties. And what flavor are these ones? What's inside? These are the neck and uh, maybe of the potato. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Let's have a look here inside. Yes. Wow. These are the potatoes and these are the potatoes. Ah, 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 Oh, sorry, there's a queue. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> there's, a, there's a queue of people waiting for the pasties. <laughs> wow, very popular here. Probably very tasty. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Oh, no. We know a couple of words. Where else in the world would somebody just put you in their car? to take you somewhere for free. <laughs> we love Sri Lanka. <laughs> so that over there is Ella City and that is a big cave of it, a big cave up there. That one up. And this is where the tree house is so you can see everything. Um, he drove us a little way down a road. We are outside of Ella at the moment. Only but about 10 minutes. Only about 10 minutes. And it's actually quite nice to be out of the center of Ella because Ella is crazy, especially at night. There are people walking and talking and there's music playing and it's not particularly quiet. So it'd be nice to come back to a place that's actually relaxing and peaceful. So like the guy said, they're just repairing this place at the moment, but they should be ready in the next few weeks. So he's got two double rooms above us. This one here is the tree house. Wow, you can see it's built into the tree. <laughs> Mango tree. Oh, mango tree? Yes. 
That tree house is literally built into the tree. Look. <laughs> So here is the scenario I am picturing about staying in this place. You wake up in the morning, you get out of your bed, you pick a fresh mango off the giant mango tree, and then you walk out here, and you are greeted with this view. I'll tell you what, Ella has got some of the prettiest views I have seen in a lot of countries so far. Like, it's, it's just the most gorgeous valley and you can see for miles you can see the mountains the trees it's really 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 it's a beautiful place a beautiful area of the country a beautiful area of the world so yeah this place is not going to be ready for another couple of weeks but when it's ready definitely look it up it's called the winsome and tree house looks absolutely incredible and i am so so gutted that it wasn't open when we were here because i would have loved to have stayed here